Hello, friends. I'm Chevy. Welcome to the shed. How are you today? It's a little late. I just got home. We had a meeting at work about, you know, keeping our jobs. But anyway, um, oh God. today I want to talk to you about, about money. And I just want to show you about money because, well, I just, I was thinking about it today. I had to buy a new monitor for the computer upstairs where I do all my editing and gaming and all that stuff. And I was able to do that. I needed a monitor. I bought a monitor. No big deal. And um, that's that's you. You bought that monitor. Um, you you know, maybe not you directly, but you know the the world of YouTube bought that money that that monitor. And um, for some reason, everybody who thinks about YouTube thinks about YouTube success, thinks about money, and th that's the one part of this whole adventure I don't give a damn about. So I'm willing to talk about it all day long. And also, just by having the title, you know, YouTube earnings or whatever, I'll get like twice the views on this video. So clickbait. Essentially, I get questions often. And this week, particularly, I got quite a few like, oh my gosh, how'd you become so famous? You know, you're so lucky. Um, I want to have a YouTube show so I can make lots of money and stay in home and play games and blah, blah, blah. Good luck. Good, good luck. That's what I'm going to say. Right now, I mean, as with any venture that you want to start, whether it's YouTube or you want to get into movies or television or whatever it is, um, you know, there's never a good time to start. So just do it. Stop, talk, stop talking about it and just do it. Because um, success isn't automatic. It takes a lot of work. I do not consider this show... A financial success, but I consider it a personal success, and that's way more important to me than being some famous YouTuber. That part, I don't, I don't care at all. Um, I don't have that big of an ego. Obviously, I have an ego, or I wouldn't be here. But I don't have that big of an ego. I just enjoy doing this, so that's why I turn the camera on every day. But I do get paid. So to address how YouTube works for anybody who doesn't know. YouTube doesn't pay you anything. You make nothing from YouTube unless you've signed up for like a YouTube original or something, you know, worked out a contract. YouTube doesn't pay you anything. You get paid by Google AdSense. Now, sure, they're basically the same company, but they're not. They're very different companies. So AdSense is if you go to basically any website and you see an ad on the side or whatever, that's AdSense. And so YouTube is no different. I have to register my YouTube page with AdSense externally. It's not automatically built in. I go to AdSense. I set up an AdSense account. It says, what's the URL of your website? And I point AdSense to my YouTube. That's how it works. Uh, and it locks those two together. And so AdSense pays like on the 20th-ish. Like usually the 19th, 20th, 21st, some, somewhere around there. Um, and so you, YouTube might might be involved in selling my advertising for me, but they don't pay me. AdSense pays me. So I earned those clicks, those those ad impressions by people like you sharing my show and me pushing and saying, hey, watch this, watch this, watch this. And if I were to ever get lucky enough for YouTube to feature one of my videos, um, then that could generate a significant amount of income, which happens with the time capsule video. So I want to give you an idea because my channel is in this unique spot. When I talked to the person that I was speaking to at YouTube uh, last year about the, growing the channel and all that stuff, she's looked at my channel and she's like, I've never seen another channel like this where you have this one really huge video and then everything else is under 100 views. And I'm like, yeah, I know. It's kind of strange. And so I'm in this unique perspective. I can show you what good performing videos pay and I can show you what really bad performing videos pay. And I don't really have anything in between. I don't have like the typicals. I mean, I have a couple videos we can look at. But here, I'm just going to show you the numbers. And then, um, and then we'll go from there. So um, like I said, AdSense pays on the 20th. YouTube, for whatever reasons, gives you a projected last 28 days. And those two things don't line up. So it's just going like a daily 
um, it's usually a couple days behind. So if you look at this, this little graphic I threw up, um, my estimated revenue in the last 28 days was $471.51. Um, and it breaks it out. That's your ad revenue plus YouTube red revenue. I do earn a little bit if somebody watches me from red. You can see on the little graph the date and how much I earned that day. So we can see that like there was a huge spike up. So if you see like on 228 over to 316, that was the um, time capsule video going big again. And then you can see the normal is I make about a dollar a day ish. Uh, but on those days, I made, you know, significantly more, up, up around $30 a day. So $471.51 in the last um, 28 days. And we'll sh I'll show you this. This is this is the what YouTube calls the CPM. The CPM is cost per mile. I have no clue what that, why they use that link, that terminology. But you can see that my CPM is two dollars and seventy six cents. What's that? What that means is for every thousand ad impressions, I earn two dollars and seventy six cents. That does not mean for every thousand views. Okay, that means for every thousand ads that were clicked on or watched to their fullest. So there's a difference. Most YouTubers will say it's about a dollar per thousand. So in my in my estimate, that's about right. I get about a dollar per thousand views. All right, and now here's the game changer. Here's the one I really want to show you. This is my money earned in the last 28 days by video. So we can look at, <laughs> for instance, 20 years ago, I buried a time capsule earned me $458 of the $471 I earned last month. So I made $20 on my own on the, with the show. Uh, Harbor Freight Tools, which is a video I did last summer, earned me a dollar. Uh, the Nintendo Switch review earned me 60 cents last month. Um, let's see. Uh, skip this episode. Monday's episode did really well because I told you not to watch it. Uh, I did 32 cents. Homeschool Advantage, recent video, 31 cents. How to make a soundboard. This guy, 30 cents. That video gets some traction every now and then. Uh, the Game of Thrones video did really well for a month. Um, 29 cents. 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 So with these numbers, we'll, we'll say it averages at 40 cents a, a video, essentially, for a month. Um, and I put out 20 to 25 episodes a month. That's not a lot of money. This show right here makes me about $5. So it's really the time capsule video making me all the money, but ultimately I don't care. The point is me, Chevy, I don't make anything from this. Um, my company, Chevy.LLC, very creative, I know, makes all the money. And Chevy.LLC owns all of the stuff. Chevy.LLC owns this mic and the camera and the equipment and the t-shirts. And so I don't make personally anything. I lose money. I spend more money than I get. Um, now, I did it first. Recently, the show has been paying for itself, and that's where I, that's why I was kind of on to this today. I wanted to talk about this because I needed this monitor. I needed a HDMI monitor, a 1080p monitor, so I could record higher quality game footage for the gaming channel, um, so that I could record Switch game footage without having to use the TV and the funky little setup that I had. So I really needed a a solution, and this is that solution. And it was a hundred bucks. This is a 22 inch LED. Uh, flat screen, you know, to monitor. It was like $40 off, 100 bucks. I needed it. I was able to go buy it. And the reason I was able to go buy it was because of YouTube. And I, you know, when I started this show, Jamie and I agreed that this business, this this thing that I'm doing, that, that money is separate from the family money. And so I, I spend the money back. Now, I have paid bills with the YouTube money and all that sort of thing. But, uh, I have to keep that money separate to be able to do things like the t-shirt sales. You know, I have a whole bag of t-shirts here. I have to screen print tonight um, and ship out your orders. Thank you so much for your t-shirt orders. If you didn't know, I sell t-shirts, link. Um, and uh, so I have a whole batch of t-shirts to batch out tonight and ship those. You know, if I didn't have um, a cushion, if the, if the company didn't have money in, in the bank, I wouldn't be able to do stuff like this. And I'm, 
I'm extremely appreciative. That's only a hundred dollars, which I don't think a hundred dollars is 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 insignificant to anybody. I think if you handed anybody a hundred dollar bill, they'd be like, "Damn, thanks." But to a lot of people, uh, especially on YouTube, who are successful, a hundred dollar monitor is just like whatever. Go buy a hundred dollar monitor, right? For me, I'm extremely poor, and so. <laughs> Until this year, that would have been a many months savings just to, you know, I don't have leftover money at the end of the month to put into equipment like this. And so without the YouTube revenue, I wouldn't be able to upgrade the equipment so that I could keep making the show better and keep going. And so the point that I wanted to get to with all of this, and this video is going a little long, is that you don't have to, don't wait on, I got this idea, I'm going to be a big successful YouTuber. You're not. It's a extremely small chance that you launch a channel and immediately it becomes a profit. It's a tiny, tiny chance. So just do it. Take out your phone. Take out whatever garbage camera you can scrounge up. up. Gosh, <laughs> I don't know what's going on today. Take out whatever garbage camera you can scrounge up. Start making videos and uh, stop, stop dreaming. Just do it. Just go for it. And if, if it, if it works for you and you have the wherewithal to continue with it, even when it doesn't succeed, you will make a little bit and you will be able to do things like buy new monitors or buy new video games. So I say go for it, but there's the money. You see it now. That's why I love you guys who come back every day. It really means something super special because I'm not doing this for the money. <laughs> I'm doing it because I love talking to you. So thank you. Thank you so much, as always, for being here. Uh, please give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. If you haven't subscribed yet, consider hitting the button. It's free. It doesn't cost you anything. You get to watch new videos. I do it daily. Yeah. Thanks for being here. I'll see you tomorrow. Hey, Doc, wait. I want to ask you something. Today's random fact comes from wikipedia.org. When was the last time a thousand dollar bill was printed? Although they are still technically legal tender in the United States, high denomination bills were last printed December 27th, 1945 and officially discontinued on July 14th, 1969 by the Federal Reserve.